Hi, David Paul here. Um, uh, I'll do this one in English. Um, this is just something I've spotted in uh, in Amsterdam. Um, it's a very strange looking kind of barge boat. It would have had a previous history, I would imagine, of being a barge for transport. It's got a, a rounded bow, which is a, a perfect semicircle. And I've always thought, well, yeah, this is good. But the corners of a circle, well obviously it doesn't have any corners, so therefore you lose kind of deck space doing that. And yet again, the Dutch being the Dutch, you know, they come up with some kind of a genius, brilliant, staggeringly brilliant answer to everything, you know. And look at that, that isn't that amazing? They've got this squared off sort of iPhone-like sort of deck area up top there overhanging the basic hull at the bottom so um, so that's what you got you got the um, you got the utility of all that top deck space without having to um, without, without you know you're not sacrificing any deck space but without having to also have the higher resistance of a more buff ended bow <laughs> sort of shape that you would get uh, on those toy boats that you get they're called um, Oh, I can't remember their name, but they're very square looking kind of toy boats um, that uh, people are posting on YouTube all the time now. Springers, I think they're called. So there you go. Now that's a whole ship that could be utilised on the canals of Britain. Because one of the problems with narrow boats is that they, they serve the purpose of being uh, boats um, for the purpose of transport of materials and stuff. They have a bow that's good for pushing lock gates open and all that sort of stuff. But for the purpose of actually living on them, when they, when all that transport came to an end, people just sort of colonised the um, the boats that they already had and converted them to living boats. But if you were to go and design a boat like this from scratch uh, and decide what is it that you actually need, you would probably, I think, need something that looks rather like that. Rounded sections is always a good thing in steelwork or anything. Points are not a good thing. Nature doesn't like sticky out things, it knocks them off. Or they become, they get put under great stress. And in terms of metal, when metal is placed under stress, that's, um, that's a good opportunity for corrosion to kick in. So I'm gonna take a walk around and um, just take a side view onto that. I have to get all this stuff, you know, while I'm here in Holland because because that's it. I'm only going to get this this one shot. So that's the finish of that. From my family back in the Philippines. Take no more yarn. I know Bye bye.